Hey everybody, this is a Grumpy Old Guy Gaming. Here's some footage we got from last week, I'm just getting around to making a video of it now. We are in the Hongik University Station server. I am playing Dionysius, my Wave Master, and we are joined by Kikita Ren and Gambit. And this is the first of two runs I got recorded from that day. Um, just sort of milling about all day. I had done a couple runs earlier. I really should have got those recorded, and I apologize for not getting it done. Um, just sitting there comparing levels now. I believe Gambit and Dionysius are fairly close in level. Kikita Ren, yeah, only level 28 there. And I'm sort of joking, they're like, I trust you, and I'm like, yeah, famous last words. If you've seen any of my videos, you know I am no stranger to the game over screen. So perhaps putting absolute trust in me to, you know, save the party is not the best idea. That said, I was initially planning on, you know, keeping a fairly aggressive level there, and then the whole statement of Dionysius keeping us all alive got in my head, and I instantly decided to change direction here, and instead of trying for something really ambitious from a level standpoint, I sort of pivoted and decided to try grinding for a rare item. Um, figured since Kikita was the lowest level member of the party, and I think the newest player overall in this party, that uh, getting them a weapon for their heavy blade may be a cool idea. So I went ahead and looked up the keywords for the um, farming dungeon for Mimiru's sword, and that's what we'll be looking at here today. I think we took two cracks at it. Wasn't really a requested item, but I thought it would be a cool thing. Um, and like I said, we made two runs at the dungeon, did not get the sword, so spoilers. But it was still a fun time overall, and this actually was sort of the lead into the run that uh, Gambit, Doran on the Discord, and I had done that ended up netting the Staff of Wisdom he was nice enough to trade to me for Dionysius. Um, I think I'll make that the Fragment Friday upload this week. Sorry I'm being a little bit lazy cashing in some of this excess video footage. But, been having issues getting the videos out on time this week. Monday's upload literally took till Tuesday to upload, so I kind of just want to better safe than sorry at this point. Warping into the field. Forest field here. And as you can see, Mimi Ru's sword, that's what we're after. Nice enough to get a rig game thrown on me. If you ever do any of these farming dungeons, perhaps you haven't had the chance to do them before. The fields, I'm willing to say, are all empty. I have yet to encounter one with monsters on the field. I haven't run them all, obviously, so I can't say 100% that's the case, but I'm willing to say it's fairly it's fairly plausible you won't have a field encounter in these dungeons see a ton of piney apples here another great thing because piney apple traditionally not the easiest grunty food to find generally they're right up there with root vegetable for i just can't get enough of these because the fields maybe have one or two at most I've yet to see any farming fields that offer a ton of root vegetable. But here's a good place to get the piney apples, as most of the forest area farming dungeons are loaded with them. Gonna head in now. Also, you'll find a lot of virus cores. Um, good place to stock up with the more common virus cores couple symbols here in the opening room. Get a bit more buffed before heading in. First encounter. Got two portals, and they are giving us mantises. Nice lower mid-level water element monster, for some reason. Just giant bugs. They have an attack, they have an attack buff. 
I think they're actually able to hit you with their animation by casting the attack buff. Not 100% on that. Also recognize them as the uh, Squilla Demon models. The Squilla Demons, of course, shaded white. The mantises are green. Neat looking mo monsters, they really are. Just sort of slide around there. One thing that gets said a lot by anyone who's introduced to this series, the monster design is so unique compared to anything else they've ever played. I kinda gotta go with that. You know a dot hack game when you're playing it. Monster designs in this game are very unlike those you would see in a traditional fantasy game. And for the better, I would say. I'm just throwing out ROM spells to try and help clear the field. We're really just trying to get Kikita some experience here. It's not the most exciting thing to run for Mimi Roo's sword in the 50s, but you can play support. There we go, we had a, uh, got a support message there from Dao hosting the server. But you can support other players, and just making sure they get their hits in, they get a boatload of experience. You help get them up to a level, and before you know it, they're helping you out in fields. Really kind of an awesome feeling when you get the chance to help people out and help them along the way. A lot of times, especially if you're soloing, those early levels could feel just insurmountable. You get into that vein where the dungeons are just full of enemies that are one-shotting you, and you're like, how is this supposed to be fun? Now, obviously, you could play offline, and that is certainly a viable strategy. Again, sometime in the not-too-distant future, I do plan to delve into the offline mode and, you know, give it credit where credit's due. It's a good place to pick up rares, it's a good place to get that classic feel of playing Infection, Mutation, Outbreak, and Quarantine. And a nice little sort of light story to go with and reward you for your diligence as a Dot .hack fan if you've been following the series, especially through R1. But another great thing to do if you're looking for levels is just party up with some people. It may feel a little weird having them carry you through a couple dungeons, but believe me, you'll be helping them in no time. Getting our hits in here. Pick up the moon out of that chest. Kind of taking a moment here to regroup. There, Gambit was reassuring Kikita that the uh, mantises aren't gonna probably aren't going to one-shot them. Again, I was talking about just going for a more aggressive level, and that's probably my fault. I didn't really communicate clearly that I had the sort of sudden change of plans. I was planning on trying to run something in the upper 40s, low 50s. Again, having two people in the party to help res you, y you tend to think a bit more aggressively in terms of level. Go ahead, pick up the lovers out of that chest. Also surprised they were leaving so many chests behind. Certainly wasn't too sad about it, as it was kind of hurting for money at the time, so grabbing the extra items to sell back and found it nice. And I am still running the treasure wand here, so you're going to see a bunch of consistent spells that aren't really that taxing for me. See the speed charms wearing off. Doing my best to make sure everybody is up to speed now. Got a couple symbols here. Go ahead, grab an app forma. Make our way to the next room, and we've got more mantises. All sorts of Zot spells firing off. You get rock columns rising out of the ground, you get trees coming out of the ground.
There we go, everybody got in on that one. Yeah, you can see Kikita Ren's picking up 12 experience for those mantises. Not really a bad amount at all, pretty much on even level with an easy strike for us, but... Uh, for Gambit and myself, but for Kikita, they're a fairly level challenge. And having us as support in the party means more than able enough to just swing away without worrying about getting low on resources or anything. Should be getting them a level throughout this. If I remember correctly, at least. Here we've got a couple treasure chests and the stairs down to the third floor. more symbols to open up, another common sight <coughs> when you're running these farming dungeons, and often a necessary one when you go after the higher level things, because there's some pretty nasty surprises in some of those higher level rooms. There, I think I went to cast a back cruise spell on a fallen opponent while they were still just able to be targeted. So you got the whole flames in the air, and then they just sort of slowly fade away without hitting anything. Still a neat result. I personally like the one where you get the full spell animation, but no damage. The old phantom spell. But seeing the flames slowly fade away from midair is kind of a cool effect, too. Big elemental hit there. Moving to the next. Just a singular portal here. Two mantises. I get a little ahead of myself. Take out that one. I think I was a little amped up from the morning's runs at this point, too. I was still in crush, kill, destroy mode. So sort of easing myself back in, pumping the brakes a little. Got the stairs down here. Once again, we ignore the treasure chest. Got a virus core here. That's a sure sign we are just about wrapped up. There we are. The statue room. See Gambit making notes that there's two virus cores here. Always good to keep notes like that, that way if you run into a corrupted area, you know where to go to perhaps pick up some of the more common cores. Let's see what Kikita ends up picking up out of his chest here. I think they mention it. Uh, nothing exciting this time. So I mentioned about possibly trying again, and it seems like Gambit's on board with that. I was also starting to test out keywords for emus on Shining Darkness, so I threw that out as an option as well. I was sort of bouncing between the two servers. But back up we head, and we get ready for round two. Just happy to have people play with Kikita Ren says it, and I think we all feel it. Like, there's a special thing about being able to play this game online with people. Such an awesome experience, and if you haven't had it yet, hopefully you get there soon. A ton of people just eager to play with you, I will say that. And it's really been cool to see the number of people uploading and streaming in the past week or two as well. Seems like every day either I catch one, or emus or somebody else will post about another channel having a stream or a video up. Really kind of cool to see. 
Hope you guys who are uh, starting out streaming are enjoying it or getting a positive response back. And I hope you stick around a bit more uh, on the permanent side so we can maybe, you know, party up together. Maybe have some fun with Fragment Friday. Perhaps just pick a field between a group of us and we all run it and see how it turns out. That might be a neat idea. Yeah. Just spitballing here as we enter the dungeon once more. And away we go for Mantis's round two. This time, no real hesitation from the party. We're all just moving about doing our thing. Kikita's getting their hits in, and you're going to see a whole bunch of experience heading their way. Ironically, not at the time I'm mentioning it, because it didn't look like they got a hit in on that Mantis. Perhaps some of that dreaded physical accuracy loss. Crippled them. Just kind of moving about, letting everybody else take the lead, and, you know, doing typical Wave Master things. Hanging back, playing support. Mainly just firing off finishing spells at this point, more so than actual support. There you saw a heal post-combat. Which in reality is what I probably should have just been doing the whole time. Hindsight being 2020. Another reason I like recording these is I get to go back and sort of critique my gameplay. Uh, pick up on things that I could have done better for next time. Got into that habit way back in Little League. Um, my poor grandfather had to figure out how to set up a camcorder and, uh, you know, film for us since he'd be taking us up. My parents were both working for a good portion of that. But he'd go ahead and get us the tape and then we'd sit there and watch it afterwards. Because there's so many baseball tricks you're going to learn from watching yourself when you're like 8 and 9. Didn't stop me from doing it though. Get the moon out of that chest there. Battle mode winds up behind me. Another great thing about these farming dungeons, if you've got the itch to play and you're really not sure what to go for, this kind of gives you a short-term goal. Um, if you could find a list, I know Dow at one point had put together a pretty comprehensive list of the rares to be found on Hongik or the Crab server. Uh, they are essentially one and the same with some minor differences and some translations. Um, get a Water God Axe there, but it will, like, you can pick an item and just farm for that. Give it a shot. And while you're waiting for party members, maybe you're waiting for a guildmate or two to jump on, maybe looking to help out some newer players, this will give you that goal to just sort of head in, see if you could solo it, see if you could get the item, maybe recruit a couple people, play with some people you hadn't played before. Maybe you see somebody on the Discord servers or the bulletin boards mention that they're looking for an item you join in with. All of a sudden you realize that the monster that's there could be data drained for an item you're looking for. All kind of fun things could be the result. Another mantis goes down. Pick up the lovers out of that chest, and to the next room we go. Don't even know what I was pressing there, but apparently I couldn't find the target. I think narrow corridor with all these bodies around, I've been able to find something. From the looks of it, of it, it may have been... A, nah, it wouldn't have been a healing item. I don't know. Finish up there, and I'm doing the slow RPG walk towards the door. Incoming. 
hitting that elemental hit. Meanwhile, Gambit and Kikita Ren wreaking havoc on the right side of the screen there. Final one falls. Twelve more experience to Kikita. I hope I'm saying that right. Otherwise, this is going to be a really awkward watch because I've said the name about two dozen times already. Oh well, by now we're very familiar with me mispronouncing names. Four more mantises to add to the stun pile. And there's Kikita's level up. See, I knew I remembered it. Right there, middle of combat. Throw quick congratulations out there. Always a great feeling when you level up, isn't it? Pick up some hands of fire. Into the next room we go. Neat fire skill from Kikita. Notice that whole blade get all engulfed in flames and everything. Heavy blade skills are fun to look at. Moving to the third floor here. Getting out Korma, that's good news for me. Again, not sweating the mantises, but I'll take the attack off. See, not even an elemental hit, and I'm doing well over a thousand damage. Gambit's got Sora's blades going, so you've probably noticed a lot of the word dying proking there. Death touch effect, I believe, is dialed up from a typical weapon with that ability. I think they tried to do something a little special with all of the uh, sign character weapons you could get. Saw another death touch right there. down, pick up the lovers once more. And I backtrack for a second chest because treasure. A little bit further to go. Hear the sound of a chest being disarmed behind me and into the next room we come. This looks to be the single portal room and that's the all dungeon portals cleared. All academic, but Kikita Ren finishes with a flourish, that fun jumping attack there. Pick up the lovers one more time out of the chest. And once more. Hate when that happens, don't you? I thought I had that queued up perfectly, and it's like, oh yeah, I opened another one and got the same treasure. Whoops! So here they go again. Wish them a little good luck, and they're nice enough to ask if we want the chest. Um, honestly, it's a heavy blade weapon we were going for. Let them have the loot. And again, the sword didn't fall, but it was a fun story, it was a fun little adventure, and we got to go ahead, play, Kikita got a level up, and we all got some treasure out of it, and some kills. So we'll have to put a pin in that one, and maybe run it again another day. Here I'm mentioning about heading back over to Shining Darkness. And that was my goal after we were done running these. Ended up with a bit of confusion, I'll touch on that more for the Friday upload, as that's really a story better served then. But for now, we're just sort of regrouping, chatting about it a bit, and then we're going to be 
using the ocarina here fairly shortly. Heading back up to the field and then back to town. There's that chime. As you can tell, they usually don't go off that quick, so someone had just beat me to it. Thankfully, my menu didn't cancel theirs out. I want to thank you for watching this episode of Dot Hack Fragment. This has been a Grumpy Old Guy Gaming. Take care. <laughs>